YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And I told y'all, man, I told y'all that I'm going to be covering everything regarding the Redskins and the NFL. Excuse me. I told y'all from the big news such as Ron Rivera getting hired and Bruce Allen getting fired to small news like this where I'm about to discuss. Small news by this, but you know about the title already. But you get what I'm saying. I'm here to cover everything. As long as you guys support me and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications, I will keep doing it. I will keep doing it. So I know it's not going to happen overnight, but everyone subscribe to the channel. I have a goal I'm trying to reach. So yeah, let's get straight into today's video. This is the third video of the day. This is the third video of the day, and a shout out to everyone that have watched all three videos today. This is the third video of the day. It's not, it's not a big thing, but it's a big thing. Now let me get into what I'm talking about here. The report came out that Chris Cooley confirmed that the Washington Redskins will be changing from a 3-4 defense to a 4-3 defense. This is huge news, especially for Washington Redskins fans. Other teams may not look at it like it's a big deal, but for Washington Redskins fans, we, un we understand why this is a big deal. We know why. Because what we've been through these past years with Greg Minuski and Joe Barry, we understand why this is such a big move. When we was in 4-3, we were dominant. We were dominant. Then we moved to 3-4. 3-4. Not saying the 3-4 isn't good, because the 3-4 is good. You just have to have the right coach to run it. And I don't. I just feel as if that we haven't had the right coach to run a 3-4. So it was time for a switch. With, with, with all the firings and all the hirings, and we're starting a new chapter. And as far as the organization, why not make that switch? So the reason why I'm saying the 4-3 is so dominant as far as this Washington Redskins team, because our edge rushers, Montez Sweat, and soon to be Chase Young, if he declares her draft, all they have to do is 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 get get out get after the quarterback. You don't have to worry about the defensive coordinator dropping you in coverage, <coughs> Greg Minuski. You don't have to worry about the the defensive coordinator dropping you in coverage, man. You have to guard a tight end. Your job is, st is strictly put your hand in the dirt and get after that quarterback. More importantly, the ball. That's why the 4-3 is so dominant. And what we were struggling with the 3-4 was, I don't want to say the 3-4 is bad because it's not. I feel like it's just the coaches that we had. But we struggled because they were dropping Ryan Kerrigan into coverage. If you know Ryan Kerrigan, tell me if... He should be in coverage. Ryan, excuse me, I'm sorry. Ryan Kerrigan is slow. Not as far as when he's rushing a quarterback, but if you want him to cover a tight end, he's slow. He's not going to keep up. Like, come on now. He's not going to keep up. Montez Sweat, not a covering, not a covering outside linebacker. Like, come on now. If you see, if you want, go back to his Mississippi days, you seen what he did. Hand in the dirt and he had got to the quarterback. Same with Ryan Kerrigan. Um, Ryan Anderson too. They're 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 hand in the dirt type of DNs and left outside line and outside linebackers. They're not no coverage outside linebacker. That's why the three four wasn't such a good fit. Also with the secondary, secondary had you had players you had players playing ten yards off when you only need five yards to get a first down. You didn't know the times, and this is more so Greg Murdowski's fault. You don't know. You didn't know the times where the what was the right times to blitz and to drop people into coverage. For an example, the um the um the the Packers game this year, third and seventeen, third and seventeen. You drop nine people into coverage and rush three people. Like Aaron Rodgers isn't back there. You rush three people and drop nine people into coverage. So you know what Aaron Rodgers is going to do? Aaron Rodgers is going to do what Aaron Rodgers do. He's going to sit back there. Oh, I got all this time. Ain't nobody rushing me. Okay, okay. Boom, boom. Nothing's open. Okay, I still got time because no pressure's in my face. Boom, something's open. In fact, on that play, he threw it to Devontae Adams. So it was time for a change, man. I feel as if Ron Rivera and Jack Del Rio together... They're gonna be dangerous. They're gonna be dangerous, man. And and they're 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 making a switch. They're making a switch, man. 
So I'm gonna get out of here, man. I'm I'm a little congested. I'm not sick, but hopefully I'm not. I don't feel sick, but it might be getting to me. Who knows? That's not gonna stop the videos though. But I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's been your boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'm out, man. And Chris Cooley confirmed that the Washington Redskins is switching to a 4-3 defense. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, hell to the Redskins. Hell to the Nets. Hell to the Wizards. Hell to the Caps, man. Peace.